And so then in the book, you kind of describe, there's one example or a couple examples you give of sort of bad treatment, but you were started to seek everything you possibly could, yeah. right? To help yeah. yourself. The problem, yeah. the problem and, with and, that is that, yeah. that I, what I was looking for was to get rid of it completely. I wanted to find right. something that would right. get rid of right. it completely. And when I went to, to all these things and I'd get a little, feel a little better from them. And I just said, no, it's not enough. Not enough. That was the big problem. Right. I, I just want to read yeah. this because it's so funny. <laughs> you just described this thing about going to a shiatsu therapist <laughs> who ex <laughs> who explained that my headaches were caused by tight muscle knots in my neck and back, which would require deep tissue work. The pain from this work was unbearable. Is it supposed to hurt that much? I asked. Absolutely, he said. And your experience of the pain confirms that it is a deep tissue problem. I never went back for another shiatsu session. No. <laughs> That's so yeah. funny. Um, and so as you sort of described to the big problem was that you were trying to get rid yeah. of the pain. Yeah. And maybe can you kind of talk about that? Because that's obviously at the core of most, I assume, most chronic conditions, but in particular chronic yeah. pain. And And as you describe a lot, and then... One of the chapter six is into the abyss. So I think as you were trying to get everything to stop it, you kind of got worse right. and worse, yeah. right? And then, um, and it's the, it got really worse when, um, unfortunately, when I started on the narcotics and for the first six months I was on the narcotics, I felt great. The pain wasn't gone completely, but it was down low enough that I actually was feeling happy, also partly from the narcotics, I suppose. Um, right, but, right. uh, but also, and I, and I lost weight, which I was happy about. Um, and, uh, that first six months was, was great. So I was hooked into the fact that, that the narcotics were really helpful and I was worried about addiction. So I had a conversation with my pain specialist and, uh, about the addiction process and, the fact is, one of them said to me, listen, you have, uh, you have, <laughs> you go away for the summer. Uh, I went to camp for the summers. You go away for the summer and you take, um, you know, 25 patches of 200 milligram of fentanyl with you and you don't overuse. And you mm -hmm. have uh, a bottle of morphine pills at your bedside and you don't take more than you're supposed to. So we don't think you're addicted. We think you're just dependent on the medication for pain relief. So that resonated with me. So I kept going. And, uh, and then the pain started to get worse and worse in spite of going up higher on the medications, uh, trying different ones. I think I've tried pretty much everything there is. And, uh, and it was all not working and it was actually making things worse. And that was the, my new pain specialist decided that that that's what's happening is, is the medication you need to come off it. So he was telling me for the, the, and my wife was telling me for the two years prior to when I went to CAMH, the medical withdrawal unit, um, that I needed to get off the medications. And by that time, it was, right. okay. Yeah. 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 And I think by that yeah. time I was in bed most of the time at home, but I was still functioning at work. Right. And, and I think it's so common for people and, Clearly, there's a overprescribing of these medications in the world, the painkillers in particular. Mm -hmm.